Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Osiris New Dawn. So today um, I started a new game. I have uh, the habitat set up, um, and I wanted to see if we could um, have the um, this. Um, what is it? It's like um, a droid. Yes, it's a droid um, that we have here. By the way, we are in the um, experimental branch. And um, yeah, I wonder if we can. I think these droids help um, help uh, the user to um, mine and stuff like that or to explore. I've never activated the droids, but let's see if we can we can um, build this uh, thing. So ah yes, so now my limiting factor is wires. We need a uh, four um, wires, and currently this is um, in general a scarce um, resource in the game. The wires you obtain them by basically by salvaging. Um, other parts uh, and I don't know if it's only me or uh, they change the game and um, and these parts are more scarce so we need to mine those by the way I think this this um, I don't I'm not sure that this we need this hot um, anymore because we have the the habitat but in any case we need to look for those wires and uh, yeah currently this is a lim limiting factor so it needs four wires uh, a circuit board power cell and talonite I'm pretty sure that I, I can get a uh, talonite the other place where we can uh, get some of this uh, okay, that's strange. Here we have four. Okay, two of these makes one, but everything is changed here. Why is everything changed? Ooh. I think I lost my stuff, but why? It seems that this this random crates cannot be used to store um, ore or anything because then the game doesn't like persist. It's really strange. Okay. I had a, a lot of ore and now it's gone. Okay. Like it's. Um, mm -hmm. Really? Well, it's like that. It changed everything. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, but that sucks. It it turned out that I was um, storing things in the crates, and the crates just um, they just um, once we save the game, the game just um, they don't it doesn't persist what's in the crates. So in fact, these crates are somehow um, spawning new resources if you if you leave them there every time you load the game you will have new resources there but yeah it's so weird so what do I have now? tin 
Lonsdalite, uh, titanium, nickel, copper, dur. <laughs> okay, nice. Storm. So I guess no, it's really hard to get into this. <coughs> okay, so the thing is that I um, was storing stuff in this in this um, small crates, but um, when I save the game. The game doesn't persist what's on these crates, so it uses like it uses them like loot boxes. And every time I guess that you start a game, then these uh, boxes get filled with random stuff. Well, these these are things that, yeah, they don't contribute really to the to the immersive factor. Um, I think it's. Um, it's not a very um, good mechanic, in my opinion. But at least we will have... Probably we will get all the, the, the things we need. Well, I don't know. We still need a circuit board. But again, if this is the case, that all these um, crates are refilled i think we can get the rest of resources from other crates that have been left around yeah so that means that we we need um well i lost a lot of resources now that i had um stored especially mining resources uh, like ore So let's see what we need again. We need the talonite, right? And a circuit board, and I think this circuit board also will be an issue. Uh, okay. I think we have broken circuit board somewhere. But the thing is... Oh, this is bad. Uh huh. Let's take this one. Uh, I wonder. There's the option to to disassemble stuff. Where is this option? Mm in the in the tools thing uh, let's see what we can get from the weapons because I have a lot of weapons that I don't plan to be using and this habitat really needs uh, an airlock Re recycle yes recycle and then we put it here ah look we get wires nice we can basic low tech what is the difference the basic you get two rubber and two ah these are okay I think these are the skills, right? Let's let's look at the skill. Depending on the skills, this here, right? Skills. Salvage faster. Where, where is this? Um, salvage faster. Salvage faster, and then craft craft at higher 
health. What is this one? Increase hold. No, not this one. Salvage faster. Is this thing? Ah, no. Craft. The crafting speed. Where is that though? Ah, log take recycle. Right, and this is the high tech recycle. There we go. So now, yeah. What this is a um a mechanic of the game like we if we we have like these skills that we can unlock as we uh, get experience so this one here is low low tech recycle so that means that um you can get uh, as your as your recycle um skill goes up you are able to um get more from recycling so now when we put the weapon now look at this instead of um, getting broken wires and broken circuit we get a board and a wire and this is great because now with this um, yeah, there are so many guns lying around now, and I don't really need them. I I get I got an an assault rifle, but this is good. Okay, so the only thing I need now is the talonite. So let's see how do we make the talonite again. Let's make ta some Tylonite. Is it here? No, it's in the other one. No, we cannot make Tylonite here. And I had Tylonite, by the way. <laughs> now I have to make it again. Tylonite. It's cobalt and chromium. Cobalt and chromium. I don't have none of those. Okay, so I will have to leave this stuff here. So my advice now is that you build, um, you have to build the, the, the storing crate stuff early on in the game. Because this is what um, happened. I was using... There's so many lying here that I use them to store my stuff. Uh, let's see. So we can build... The scrap metal thingy. So we need scrap, uh, hinges and cloth. I think cloth we will have to make. Uh, I don't have fiber. Okay, we will need scrap metal. We don't have. This is a cloth bundle, but... A hinge, we need a hinge. Okay, and then we need um, Here we need some fiber and I think we will be uh, good to go. There we go. 
We can now build it. Yeah, because I want to leave my stuff. And I don't want to lose it again. I had so many resources. It's incredible. Okay. Uh, utilities. Uh, what am I doing? So let's put all this uh, stuff inside. I'm really lucky that I could uh, save some of the things. The iron and the copper. Londonite, tin, magnesium is just a fraction of what I had. Okay, what else do we need? I guess I can always make another one. It's good to have two of them. So what do I need again? Utilities. Uh huh. Okay. So the scrap. Um. Yeah, the makeshift cloth. And I need some scrap. Damn it. I think I will just. No. I cannot dismantle it. Repair. Dismantle. Yes, dismantle the thing. And now we can build another one. Yeah, you need a lot of these things. So, utilities, scrap metal chest. And then here I will start to put all these things. Okay, it's time to go and, and look for stuff. So we need chromium. I think I think chromium is not far away. And fortunately, I have my um, my uh, prospector bogey with this um, antenna here so this this uh, this upgrade to the bogey Starvation warning. will um, will increase your scanning range now I'm starving so th and that's good because as you can see the scanning range is bigger oh i think also the what is this now i ah, know this these are places of interest space debris ah it's showing space debris is this new now and this is these are the mines Okay, but what are we um what are we looking for? We are looking for chrome. Chromium here. Yeah, we we have chrome really close, really close. Chrome and what what was the other thing we need?
Okay. Ah, we can also. Okay, this is fabricated. These are all space debris. From space debris, well, depending on your skill, from the the space debris, you can get um, things like m more more stuff than if you don't have the the skills. So let's. Um, I have to confirm what we need for the talonite. Chrome is one of the things, and the other thing is. Cobalt. Ah, cobalt. I guess cobalt is farther away. Okay. Cobalt is not here. Okay, but let's first... Let's do one thing at a time. Ah, but it is not... Okay. What is this now? This zinc. Okay, but we need chromium. Yeah, chromium is... No, that's titanium. I know that chromium... There's a um, close um, source of chromium. But what's the color of chromium? Sometimes it's hard to to distinguish with which color is it let's go um, a little bit to the north chromium and cobalt those this space debris Is this now? That's chromium. Yep. So we have it uh, right ahead. This is the chromium. Okay, that's great. Let's mine some chromium. Chromium and cobalt. What the hell is this? Yeah. Ah, it looks different. What is this? Is the same ore? Okay. Yeah, hopefully with a with a droid we can do um, like automate tasks, maybe mine. What it was that tungsten? Okay. Ah, I mine tungsten. Okay, that's that's cool. Ah, so this is tungsten. I see. Okay, so the chromium this is not chromium, of course. I would like more chromium though. Where is the chromium? It's down here. It's down here. 
They are mixed. This is crummy. There we go. I think we have enough. 12. Yeah. Let's now look for the um what it, the 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 cobalt 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 uh, I think it's down there. Probably it's down there. Okay, let's go for the cobalt to the south. So my boogie is here. Oh, I'm I'm running out of fuel, so let's. Hmm, and I don't have much hydrogen. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, so that, let's refuel. I need fuel. So south we go. South what? South east, I think. South east. Is this it? Ah, this is silver. Nice. It's good to have silver. Silver is very useful because you need it for power um, appliances. So, where are we now? So, this is silver. Okay. That is uh, nickel, copper, hmm, so none of this is it. We will have to go to the east, farther to the east. But it's good if we have um, silver. Oh, I hate that. I hate when the when the screen does that shit. Like it You'd have like this glitch. It's part of the of the horror general, right? Like it's 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 meant for you to be um uneasy. And I hate it. Especially, uh, there's one, like, there are different type of glitches. But the one I hate the most is, is the one that puts the, the view upside down. I hate that. And this is just an outcrop, okay. Ah, uh, and that is like the... We can go there. This is like this settlement. This abandoned settlement. Or outpost, I would say. <laughs> um, it's not... I think it's not quite a settlement. We can go there, though. Let's take a little bit more silver.
Where's the boogie? Here's the boogie. And now the the outpost is to the east. And that's fine. This is the outpost. Unfortunately, we cannot We cannot um, salvage any of this. It's, it's more like props that um, you cannot interact with. The only thing we can uh, find here is crates that I think will be um, repopulated with stuff. Water, medicine. I will be happy to find another weapon. Because now um, recycling them is so uh, profitable. I like that, and that, and that, and that. I guess that's it. That is it. So let's continue. Um, what did we say again? To the to the east, right? We need to go eastward. We need to go that way. Nickel we have. Not at the moment. Oh. Is this it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's coming for us. I think I will have to fight it. Oh no gone okay so what is this again is this cobalt is not what's green molybdenum ah now that i re i seem to remember cobalt was near this refinery site or or this crescent valley i think it's to the north instead but you know what, since I'm here... Oh no, this is silver still. Molybdenum. Oh, that's bad. Oh! I can always mine a little bit of molybdenum since I run out of everything. Oh, but there's coming for me now. Just in case. I don't remember if we had molybdenum. But since I'm here... Okay, so basically if you are not um, familiar with this game, this uh, survival, open world, um, crafting, horror game, space game as well sort of um and yeah this the, the story goes something like um yeah earth was um not able to support population anymore uh, like hostile environment 
it became a hostile environment and uh, there is this mission to find like a new um, settlement uh, for the for the human race and then um, an accident happens with the mission the this Osiris mission and then you you basically crash land in this planet that's the the, the story and yeah you can you can compare it with other games of course uh, especially always uh, you see the influence of minecraft um, but it's not for example if if you compare it to space engineers it's it doesn't have this building freedom to it so you cannot really it's not the same as um, space engineers or um, stationers for example it's closer to <coughs> it's closer to no man's sky i would say um, with a difference the, the 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 big difference here is that this um, environment is not procedurally generated so that's a huge difference oh, i cannot harvest the cacti for some reason no so all this um this planet is um is um, manually was manually uh, made by the developers so it's prepared in this sense it's like subnautica like you don't have um, procedurally generated um, landscapes and of course that limits the replayability value I would say so but I think the the things that it has I think it they they did um, several things in a good way actually I for example if I if I um, compared to Imperium uh, I would say that I play Osiris New Dawn more than Imperium so yeah uh, at some point um, you're able to I think to to leave the planet so that's the part I'm looking forward to to do where's the boogie here oh but there is an enemy come and get it There you go. And let's um, harvest some alien tissue, delicious alien tissue. We need it. Yeah, so this is gold. Yeah, again, I'm trying to mine the things that I lost. Okay, but we said that we need to go to the north, right? We said that. Let's go to the north. Ah, but we are also we are running low on um, fuel. I think we should head for the base first to refuel. This landscape um, reminds me of series like this. Um, how they call it, dwarf planet, uh, with this bright patch 
they discover well, there are several of them of these bright patches what wait 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 what is this now ah this is lead not bad i mean that's good that we have lead but first let me um, feed the character here because you know I think I will drink. That's a rock outcrop and this is lead. Lead is good. Lead... There are many things where um, lead is needed. So yeah, totally going to harvest some lead. Harvesting the lead. So how much do we go get of lead? Thirty s no. Only thirty six of lead. Oh well, that's fine. Let's head um north. North. I know the the habitat is south in fact. Oh that's curious. We need to go to the habitat. <coughs> we are pretty far away. That's oxygen right there, but no, <coughs> I won't get oxygen. I lost my oxygen, by the way. I had uh, some stored oxygen. Ah, this is another, yes. This is another settlement right here. So if we look um, at the crates, we'll find stuff. For sure, apples and um, things to uh, this is um, how do we call this? Ah, look, a lot of wire, that's great. Yeah, there are these crates that we um, there are that uh, contain all these um, harvesting, like this agriculture thing. Wow! Look at all all the wires. I cannot believe it. Ah, uh, look a weapon. Nice. that's enough for now let's continue so here we have to go down downhill oops then from here we need to go that way this little path here let's turn on the lights it's better we get again to the to this um, settlement And 
and then um, okay the habitat is in this direction oh I went through a slightly different road I guess This, I think this is, um, I think this is the hydrogen, I will need hydrogen. And I need to load the boogie with hydrogen. And then I need to store some. So let's. I always keep like um, field storage, some extra storage. That's always a good idea. So let's put everything in the in the in the in our storage. So we don't because we don't want to lose it. Oops. Is that way? And then we can go for the for the rest of the, like uh, the cobalt that's what we are missing now uh, lead um, molybdenum silver chromium tungsten also gold i think there's no gold here right no and gold Okay. And here we can store wires. More wire. Um, yeah, the rest of the things basically. That we are not going to use immediately. This we can cook it. I think that's it. I don't want um, yeah this also. Uh, basically that's it. That's all the food we got. Okay. Yeah, we need. Ah, we can. Yeah, we could create that if this was empty. But no. Let's continue. So we have to go northeast, basically. Northeast. No, sorry, not not northeast, but is it northeast or northwest? We are here. Hmm. Uh, 
Now the sources seem to be... Uh, ah, no, we said here, right? Okay. Yeah, okay, let's go. Northwest. It's good to put markers on this because otherwise you have to memorize where everything is and there there is um, the possibility of creating these uh, like flag markers can keep track of the of the, the, the stuff let's see where is this there cobalt so we have to continue northwest. Yeah. Northeast, sorry. Northeast. No, this this uh, prospector boogie is really useful because otherwise your um, oh look another boogie or I this is these are good things to mark. Let's uh, mark it with. With one Okay, where is it now? To the north Here is the cold Okay, that's enough. Okay. Uh, more. Some creature here. Two of them. This is very tricky to attack. It has a really difficult um, strategy. Oh, another one of these. Oh. 
Where is the other? I don't want to shoot it down because um, yeah I want to keep the, the ammo for Vitals dropping for an emergency there I got him I think um, some weapons have like this bleeding damage so when you hit um, some of these creatures uh, they can start bleeding and the bleeding is um, reducing their uh, um, hit points let's say or yeah their vitality and um, yeah and sometimes they just back off if they um, there's they are sensible enough that they can they they know um, that it's better for them to back off uh, we should yeah we should harvest some meat well okay so but we were harvesting um, some more cobalt and I think this will be it I think that the, the, there is this um, uh, mechanic with, with, a, with a battery, now yeah, the flashlight has a limited battery charge and you have to craft uh, power cells to recharge them. Okay, let's um, go ahead for the um, habitat again. soon uh, back in the base uh, let's see what um, what happens if we can I think we will be able to repair the, the droid so we need chromium and cobalt to create talonite and um, oh look a crate these crates now have um, goodies. These crates have some goodies. Oh, look, more wire. That's a good thing. Head for the base. Ah, that's sulfur. Um, I think it's a good idea to harvest it. But let me heal first because, yeah, there is... Vital stabilized. There's some danger here. I think... Oh! They are here. Uh, the good thing about these creatures is that if you... Um, I found that if you just jump 
on top of one of these rocks and hide like this with a control key they just go away <clears throat> by the way um, if you see uh, um, when you see this uh, eye icon to the, your um, left uh, bottom corner that is how visible you are to other creatures yeah so frequently avoiding confrontation is better than fighting the creatures because you you are always getting damaged so if you uh, walk like this you hit the control key then you're crouched and oh and now this comes here I just wanted a little bit more of um, sulfur but once I start like hitting the, the ore it will attract the attention of the creatures okay let's try it now you see the eye right the eyes that you are drawing the attention oh so they came now oh wait I'm out they, ha <laughs> they have a good uh, sense of um, hearing I guess yeah I needed some sulfur the mines uh, th those um, if you spotted that entrance there that's an entrance to uh, a mine mines are sort of dungeons I mean you know in the, this role-playing sense and you have you find loot you there are crates with stuff abandoned um, mining facilities uh, and also you you find ore as well like that you can mine this is sink right here I guess at some point I will need that as well okay but now we we, we have what we need let's do this let's do this Starvation warning. He's starving already. Okay, let's um yeah. Nineteen I would I would yeah. Unfortunately I couldn't get enough. enough of the um, I wanted more sulfur that's the thing okay so let's craft the talonite finally yeah we need uh, one talonite What else do we need now? Four wires, one um, power cell and one circuit board. I think we have all those things. So wires we have, uh, circuit board we have and power cell we have and we're ready to go. Build the droid. there we go ah uh, I can let's see 
I can tell him to follow or stay. And I can open his inventory. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Can I do anything else with him? He will always look at me. Okay. Follow, stay. If I say follow. He will follow me. Okay, and he, if we say to cancel follow, I can say him to stay. Oh, but strange. It's just like a moving inventory. That's it. It's just a moving inventory. Or can it... Um, maybe it has the power to attack creatures or so. It's like defensive. I thought that it it would be that you could you could uh, issue orders to these droids, but uh, now I'm not sure. Or is he repairing stuff? Because it it shows him as a wrench. I don't know. <laughs> now I have to discover what, what is this good for. Ah, uh, one thing is that I know that um, they are able to store stuff because there is this this um, this in the utilities. There's this. Uh, depository and depository is a large outdoor storage container where you or your bot can drop inventory off so once we have this maybe he is um, you give stuff to him and then he will go and store it well that's not a bad thing that that can be in fact useful okay but yeah Basically, we succeeded in our mission to build a droid. Um, let's see um, what would be next. There are so many things. As, as you um, build stuff, you will unlock other uh, building types. Here is the marker that I was talking about. So I think I will need these things. Also, there are beacons. Also, there's the makeshift um, marker as well. Nice. And this new deep terrain drill. A large mining drill capable of extracting ore from deep in the planet's mantle. Requires an initial drilling period to break through the crust and prepare the mining shaft. Ah, interesting. Okay, guys. But um, I will leave it here for now. So, hope you liked the video and hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler, signing off.